What's up, wrestling fan? This is Joe Cronin, The Joe Cronin Show. With Kenny Omega and Jim Cornette in a little bit of a long-standing beef. Now, I don't understand Jim Cornette's, I think, over-critical nature of Kenny Omega, but then again, Jim Cornette hates me as well, and so that I don't know what that means, but it means something that Jim Cornette hates my guts, um, and we have the audio to prove it, but this is about Kenny Omega and Jim Cornette. And basically, you know, the other day, Kenny Omega flipped out on social media, which I don't blame him because every once in a while you got to freak out because when you see enough hate over time, you eventually either step away or you, or you maybe you explode. You know, I don't know. And Kenny Omega the other day exploded. And, um, you know, uh, he said stuff about Jim Cornette. I mean, but Jim Cornette says so much about him. So saying something back about him, like his breathing issue is what Kenny Omega is apologizing for. You know, we made this we've made a joke on my show for years and years because when Jim Cornette was making fun of me and, and flipping out on me, he was like, that Joe Cronin <laughs> Like and we did this big joke, you know, back when it happened, obviously, because we just kept making fun of it because he was like <laughs> And I've got the clip and we played the clip a million times. This was four years ago now or something like that. But you know, so basically Kenny Omega made fun of that, and then he took it back and said, yeah, sorry, you know, I we all know people with breathing problems. This wasn't cool. Obviously, I think this is more about Kenny Omega being upset that he maybe upset other people with a problem. And, you know, this brings me to my point now. Well, let me show you this, and then I'll get to my sort of point here about it. What I think part of what's going on uh, is this sort of like passive aggressiveness that's weird and, and how people are different in alpha, beta, and things like that. Um. So Kenny Omega got in a fight with somebody and, you know, Jim Cornette really didn't have anything to do with the fight. And Kenny Omega brought up Jim Cornette, which is understandable. He's living rent. They're living rent free in each other's heads, you know, as far as I'm concerned, the both of them. So they're living rent free. And so then Jim Cornette, when brought up by Kenny Omega, was like, not sure why Twinkle Toes is referencing me in a completely unrelated conversation I'm not involved in. But he needs hobbies, attention. Hey, dipshit, I'm not as harsh on the ears as your ballet routines are on people's eyes. I'm wheezing from laughing at your attempts to wrestle. <laughs> oh, my God. Then Omega says, um, well, actually, then he brought up, the, the, well, I guess, or he had already brought up the breathing issue in the tweet before that I don't have, unfortunately. It wasn't that big a deal. I saw the tweet. But then um, Kenny Omega said, shouldn't have brought up any breathing issue as I as well as many friends, acquaintances and other sports are suffering uh, due to COVID after effects. Not sure if you'll accept that, but I apologize. Well, it's not the after effects of COVID. Jim Cornette's been doing this breathing problem for years. This is not new. <laughs> and I, this is years of this. Uh, that uh, I'd like to just mention, there, uh, Joe Cronin. Remember, we talked to him once because he was a star maker bowling at him doing his show for a little while, and they bowling fired him because he was such an annoying fuck. Uh, Joe, if you're listening, you stupid fuck. This fucking idiot. <laughs> but, yeah, throughout uh, throughout the Cornette experience or the Cornette, whatever episode it was, it was episode 202 of Jim Cornette's podcast on at the time, MLW Radio. And he's still, the whole time he's ranting on me, and this is from 2017. And he's like, <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and he's just like, can barely get through it. So, and, and here's the thing, the, the Kenny Omega thing, the passive aggressive stuff from some people, and I believe like Kenny Omega even, I think one of the problems with Jim Cornette is that he's too aggressive. Jim, Jim Cornette is too alpha. He should leave room open to, to make up with people and be friends with people again. Or to, you know what I mean? And I don't know why Jim Cornette holds these, you know, adversarial positions that he will never give up on. He hates Vince Russo to the death. He apparently will hate Kenny Omega to the death. I'm assuming he hates me to the death because when I created a new Twitter account after my old one got banned, um, I mentioned it on my show and I created the new account. And two days later, my Twitter account was banned by Jim Cornette, yet I had never tweeted him. How could he even know I had it? So, and that's happened with a few other people before too. And so that tells me that this guy will hold a grudge insanely. Um, or I don't know, it's funny, I guess. But, and I would also say about Kenny Omega, people like Kenny Omega, these sort of younger generation, I know I'm 37, but I just feel like some people are too soft. And I think we're fighting with ourselves to be good people versus be badass people. And I'm not saying be a bad person, right? 
Like in Star Trek The Next Generation, one of the things that I always said about that show back in the 80s and early 90s is it felt too perfect. It almost felt amazingly perfect. Like in order to get to that world to eliminate swearing and, and racism and all these other things, we'd have to eliminate comedy and jokes and having a kind of a good time because even though some stuff is offensive, true, and some stuff is evil, true, many things that are fun, exciting, and just, you know, push boundaries are offensive somewhat, and they're supposed to be. And it seemed like in Star Trek in the future, that's not going to exist. So how do we get to that point? Well, and I think some people like Kenny Omega are trying to do that sort of thing where I'm a great person, I'm a good person, but it's it's damn near impossible for people to be that virtuous and good at this point. And so Kenny Omega holds his feelings in and then blows up on social media and then has to then backtrack and apologize. But it would be better if Kenny Omega just stuck to his guns. I mean, let me give you an example. Kenny Omega's afraid of offending people because of breathing issues because he made fun of an actual thing Jim Cornette does. He goes, and, you know, Kenny Omega... <coughs> You know, Kenny Omega, and like, and you know, so Kenny Omega, <laughs> and he makes fun of that, but now he takes it back because he, oh my God, some people might have COVID issues or breathing issues, and I shouldn't have, you know, done that, Kenny Omega says. But let me ask you this, Kenny Omega, are you going to stop doing the gun motion in your matches where you go, or you go like this and you point at somebody? Because what if families have been killed by gun violence in America? You know what I mean? Where does it end? And that's my point. Where does it end where you're afraid you're going to offend somebody? And the bottom line is, F him, Kenny Omega. F him. This guy plays hardball all the time, and he never backs off. At some point, have some balls, throw some shit back at him, and don't apologize for it. Then people will get behind you. Throw some shit back at him, and don't apologize for it. Or, or, or say that you think Jim's funny and he's got some good points, but you also think he's delusional with a lot of things. What are you going to do? Can't change every critic's mind. Whatever. And then just move on. But instead, you know, Kenny Omega acts like a, like, like a fucking shooter. Like a, like a fucking mall shooter. Where it's like, oh, oh yeah, you should be shut the fuck up right there. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry about that. I was kidding. But I, I, I want to kill you. It's like, th see, th see how dangerous that is to bottle up your emotions? Just go get them. Say what you want. Stop worrying about offending people. Because worrying about offending people leads to a shooting. That's what it does. Worrying about offending people, worried about being embarrassed, all that stuff. You know what it leads to is a goddamn mass shooting is what it leads to. That's what people like that do. People like Jim Cornette don't have mass shootings. People like Jim Cornette will fight you in the parking lot. You know what I mean? Or, 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 or something like that. You need to be a little bit more alpha. Betas end up shooting up Burger King. Alphas fight in the parking lot. You know what I'm saying? Which one would you rather be? Now, I, I, I agree. Some, some alpha behavior is terrible, and people are bullies sometimes and things like that, no doubt about it. But, dude, listen. I would take my chances in a fist fight with an alpha in the parking lot over, you know, some passive aggressive guy who goes home every day upset at you and doesn't say anything. And then he comes to the fucking work with a gun the next day and shoots everybody. You know what I mean? I would rather square up with an alpha than be shot from behind by some beta. And right now, Kenny Omega is the beta and Jim Cornette is the alpha. That's what these rants, these Twitter engagements and all of this shows goes to show. Jim Cornette not backing down worth a damn, never getting over it which I, I do think Jim Cornette is extreme. Like I said, that he, he you know the guy could give some leeway and say, hey, hey, man, you know, sometimes things go too far, but I still hate your goddamn wrestling. You know, that'd be funny. You know, and he kind of said that, but not really. You know, and I, so I wish Jim Cornette would open up his, um, you know, open up his heart a little bit, you know, but I wish Kenny Omega wasn't such a back down, weird, beta, fucking weird fuck. Like, it's a weird thing to do what he does. Oh, I'm, I'm mad at you. I'm going to say this. Oh, no, I take it back. Oh, Oh my God, I'm virtuous. Oh, I love everybody, but no, I hate you. Uh, like, I, I mean, this is going to result in someone murdered soon. Anyway, I'm Joe Cronin. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you really like this video, leave a super thanks down below. Let me know, and I will pin the top person who leaves a super thanks to the comment section. Thank you guys for supporting what I do.
Um, and it's going to be a long January, man. I hope you guys can uh, check it out. And thanks to Guz and Jason Tarr for becoming $25 producers on Patreon. Thank you so much. Here's some other videos popping up right now. Don't miss it. Leave a like and share this video everywhere you can. And we'll see you tonight for uh, something. I'm Joe Cronin. Subscribe now or die.